Good morning and welcome to our assembly this morning. First of all, a very big thank you to Tabea for that music that you've been listening to. Really enjoyed that, Tabea, so well done and thank you. So here we are, we're into our next week of our online school and I know that we're getting to grips with it a little bit more as every week that passes, we're getting more and more on tune with, with how we're doing our work and so on. Well done for the way that you've embraced it, guys, and the way that you're coping with it. You've done some phenomenal work and I'm really, really proud of everything you're doing in there. I've seen, and last week we heard the Sonnet, we've had some really, really good examples of work that's, uh, that's been going on. So well done to each and every one of you there. I'm sure it's a real challenge for you. I hope that you're all taking on the message about staying, staying safe, staying active, staying healthy, reading, eating nicely, keeping on doing all these things as we, as we get to groups with, with not being in our usual school. We're all missing you very much here, but we've got a whole load of things that we're gonna go through this morning as well as getting some updates, and we're going to be hearing from a few other people during the course of this morning's assembly. So, next we move on to our Merit Awards for this week. And first up, we've got our Bronze Award winners. So first, this week, we've got Mapalo Malenga, Gianna Chibessa, Sean Makura, Radia Limbada, Carissa Mabila, and Masenga Chabala. Well done to those guys for their Bronze Awards. We've also got some Silvers. So first up, we've got Lillian Katoon, Amina Lulat, Jessica Reeve Tucker, and Gianna Chibessa. Well done to them, and finally, a uh, head of secondary award for getting over 100 merits during the course of this year, and today that goes to Josie Smith. So well done to all of our winners. Remember, you'll get your certificates when we're back in school, and Josie will also get a book. Well done, guys. Now we're gonna go on to our photo competition. You remember from last week, I challenged you as I was doing the washing up to get involved and help out around the house. So we're just going to see some photos now of some of the best ones and also our top three photo winners from last week's competition. to since the end of last term, Maya. So in the secondary school we have read a total of over 135 books and we've been reading for more than 90 hours throughout that time. Special mention to Year 7 who themselves have read over 50 of those books. Well done guys and well done to everybody who's been making use of that up. 
but I'm sure we can get those numbers up much bigger by next week and the week after. It's a really good thing to be doing at a time like this, exploring different genres, trying to catch up on some reading time as much as possible, find a comfortable spot where you can read from. So let's get stuck into that guys and see if we can increase those numbers over the next few weeks. So now we're going to hear from one of our students who is going to be the first in a series of people talking about who in all of the world, all the famous people, who they would like to be quarantined with at this moment in time and why. And then she's got a special message for us after that as well. So over to you today. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing okay in this very unusual time. Today I'll be answering the question, who, which famous person would I be quarantined with? if I could choose. Um, I think for me, it would have to be Lin-Manuel Miranda, who has written several Broadway musicals. I feel like he would be very good company and could give a lot of musical tips and um, we could write some music together, which would be really fun. Um, quarantining can be tough. And I, so I just wanna encourage you guys to keep hanging in there. I know probably most of you are stuck with your families with no friends around um, and that can be tough. Um, so, I would encourage you to find some sort of outlet at this point because you have lots of time now, time that we don't normally have. Um, do something you enjoy. If it's, I don't know, if it's sports, music, art, reading, writing, I don't know, something that you just really enjoy. You have the time to do it now. I would encourage you to find something like that. Keep hanging in there, guys. We'll get through it. Right. So last week, hopefully you remember, Mr. Spark launched our virtual sports day. And hopefully you've been busy doing the three different activities you were set. But there's also some people who are very hopeful that you've also been doing it, our three heads of houses, and we're just gonna hear from them very briefly. Over to you, heads of houses. I have done mine. Have you done yours? Tim Hawk. I've done mine. Have you done yours? Go Falcon! <sighs> Alright! I've done mine. Have you done yours? Peace! Thank you very much, our heads of houses. Now we're going to hand over to one of our house captains who's going to talk us through what's going to be coming up this week in the photo competition. And as he's talking it through, just look out the email address that you can send your entries into is going to be appearing on the screen. Maurizio, over to you. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Maurizio, Hawk House Captain speaking. As you know, we have virtual sports day coming up soon. So for this week's photo competition, you have to send a picture of you doing one of these sports day activities. Be sure to wear your house shirt and also send the pictures through before Thursday. Okay. So I don't know about you, but I certainly feel inspired to do my virtual sports day. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my two footed jump. Are you ready? Whoa! That was huge. I didn't think I was ever going to come down. Okay, so that pretty much brings us to the end of the assembly, but I'm going to have one final word from Miss Ngandu, who's got another little video clip she'd love for you all to see and maybe put a smile on your face. Thank you very much to everybody who's been involved this morning. Have a great week, guys. Yeah. Done it. <laughs>